Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Yup from Income Tech. Welcome back to the channel. And today I found a pretty cool tool. It's called Manage WP, and uh, this tool is uh, going to help you with automating basically all of your websites. So you can uh, manage all of your websites. If you are a website builder and you have multiple clients and you want you know to keep everything updated automatically backups and even client reports to your clients so you can send them uh, every month you can send them a document with hey this is how your website is performing this is the updates that we've done this is the traffic that you have this is security that you have uh, all all of these kind of things if you want to use this for all of your clients uh, stick around in this video i'm going to show you how to do it uh, don't worry it's completely free i'm going to walk you through every step I use it uh, quite a lot these days. I'm uh, really excited and uh, yeah, let's jump straight into this video and uh, I'll show you uh, how it works. Okay, so we've arrived on the website of Manage WP. You can simply go there by navigating to managewp.com. And as you can see right here, we have, uh, it already says it, a better way to manage WordPress websites. How does it do that? If you scroll down, you can see you can maintain, secure, monitor, collaborate with your teams and clients. Your client care by making reports and you can benchmark your website and you can do many, many more things. So all you have to do is create an account. So you have to sign up using your email. I suggest using a business email if you are making websites for multiple clients. And once you have your email, you can go ahead and log in. So as you can see, this is the Manage WP dashboard. I've already added a couple of websites. I don't have them all because, you know, I just uh, recently started using this. But what you can do is you can see all of your websites, all of the statuses. So something green means that it's SSL is enabled and everything is up to date and good to go. Sometimes it's orange, meaning that there are some updates available. Sometimes you have an exclamation mark, meaning that a website or plugins are vulnerable. So you can see that everything is being shown into uh, one really easy overview. So um, I have a website set up that I'm currently making for someone. So I'm going to add this and then I can show you how you can do this as well. So you go to the left left top side and you click on add a website. And you type in the uh, URL. So it's very clear, I got income.com, it's a subdomain I'm using. And then you're going to need to log into your website. Uh, I currently have a two-step authentication, uh, two-step verification on my, uh, on this website enable so I have to go ahead and disable it but all you have to do is use in, uh, fill in your WordPress login so your username and password and then you can click on add website. I'm gonna pause the video right here and I'll be back in a second. So when you've added the website um, it's gonna say establishing connection and it's trying to connect to this specific website so you're gonna have to wait a couple of seconds before it's gonna load in and when it's downloading um, we can explore the multiple different features that we can do. So a lot of these features that we're going to use of Manage WP are free, but there are also some paid, which are really cheap, but we'll go ahead in a second. So the website is added. What we can do right now is go to the website dashboard. So, all right, what can we do here? We uh, currently everything is up to date and we've missed nothing because the website is just added. The first thing that is free and that I highly recommend you doing is clicking on backups on the left side here. If you click on activate backups and you set free monthly backups, you can activate this. You can select your region, so US or Europe. Currently I am in Europe. And if you click on include exclude, you can see your files and your database. I want to include everything. So I'm gonna click on activate. And now it's activated. So, um, currently what it's going to do is going to create the first backup and then the next backup is going to be within a month. So uh, as you can see it's on the 2nd because right now for me it's 2nd of February. 2nd around this time it's going to um, <clears throat> it's going to create an automatic backup. So save these changes and let's see what else we can do. If we go to plugins we can see all the plugins that we have installed. Right now it's not a lot. 
But if you click on scheduling, you can set enable schedule. And this is gonna enable you to automatically update not only your plugins, but all your, also your themes. So select a timestamp. I usually do five in the evening on a Friday. So if anything happens, I still have the entire weekend to uh, fix a website up. And I'm also gonna select perform WordPress core updates. Save these changes. And now we have to scroll down to uh, not scheduled. These are all the plugins that I currently have. So I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna schedule them. Now that these are scheduled, you can see that every Friday at this time, these plugins are gonna be updated, which is really cool. You can also do this by theme. So if you click on themes, you can scroll down and I only have the Hello Elements for theme installed, but if you click on schedule, now this one is scheduled as well for every Friday at five in the evening. Now, what else do we have that is free? Users is, uh, yeah, you can just see all of your users. Link Monitor, unfortunately, is a paid uh, add-on, so I'm not gonna go over this, but we do have security. So if you use the free one, it's gonna look for malware black, uh, blacklists and errors, on-demand check, uh, detail check history, and the client report integration. So it's going to also add the security check in your client report that I'll get over in a second. So you click on activate and it's going to do this and you can run a security check and it's going to check if your website is secure and what else you can do to improve it. Since I already have a two-factor uh, verification or two-step verification and uh, a um, security plugin installed, I already thought it's not gonna show up weird and as you can see, everything is good. Performance, also free. Um, you can see how well your website is performing um, and that basically just has to do with how fast your website is. So let's try to run it from UK, run performance check, so that's going to run. Uh, uptime monitor unfortunately is something that does cost money. SEO ranking also costs money, but what's really cool here is the client report. So the performance is still going. Uh, I'm gonna go to the client report. So basically what you can do is here is you can create client reports that you can send out every week, every month based on whenever you are doing updates, plugins, I don't know. Um, you can send this to your clients. So let's say you have 20 clients and you want to send uh, all of these 20, you want to automate their updates. You can ask them if they will pay something like 20 bucks per month um, for you to maintain the websites, to keep everything updated, to keep the themes updated, to make sure that um, uh, that their security is still intact. You can let the, these clients pay for you. So if you have 10 clients, 20 clients that pay $20 per month, you can um, see how much revenue it's gonna get you per month. So what you can also do as a uh, add-on or as a nice little extra is you can create uh, client reports. So you can activate it, it's a free one. So I'm gonna activate this one as well. And it's gonna say on this specific website that no client report was made for it as a website. So what you can do is you can create a new report and it's, gonna, it's automatically called a website care report. So we have the default template. I also made an income tag template, but we're gonna start with a new design. So you can choose uh, your language. We're gonna use with English and the date from this uh, month, day, year. The date range is last seven days. You can also say last month. So um, yeah, it's from last month. Uh, this is for the entirety of January. Now you can see what sections do you want to include in the report, optimization, custom work, updates, backups, and the security performance. I would basically just only check what is uh, checked by default. So optimization, updates, backups, analytics, security, and performance. WooCommerce is not necessary. Custom work is not necessary because if your client does have a web shop, they automatically see within WooCommerce what their revenue has been. They are well aware of it. So you can click on customize and you can set a introductional message. I'm not gonna do that, but you can say something like, hey, this is this month uh, report. You can also add your own logos. So for example, if you have your logo, uh, you can put it on the front. As you can see, you can put a custom image here or you can use the default one. For now, I'm going to use the default one. 
You can also select colors or make your own color. Um, I usually pick the, let's see, deep ocean or the aquamarine. I think it was the aquamarine. Um, font style, regular or condensed. I'm just gonna go with regular. Header and footer is not necessary because uh, you can do this, but it's gonna cost you an extra time, but you can set the client name at the top left or a date range or some custom text with your own client or with your own company name stuff like that header background uh, by default it's just some 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 particles but you can also uh, make a solid color or no style and you can also make a closing message with uh, something like this has, has been a good month uh, for your website let's hope next month is going to be the same so I'm going to preview and download this. So it's going to generate. And what you can also do is you can email it towards a client from here. I usually always download it and I put it in my own mail with my own signature and then write my own um, message with this. So let's wait for this to load. And when it's done, uh, we can open it up and see how it works or how it looks like. It's not going to be too, um, too into depth for now because we just added this website and we've just added everything um, so not all of the information is going to be included but uh, we can go ahead and take a look uh, I'll cut the video and uh, come back whenever it's downloading all right as you can see the report is downloading uh, on the right here you can see that it's the preview what you can do is you can download as a PDF it's going to download it and you can open it up and then you can see exactly what it looks like so here we have the front uh, it's the website care report with the uh, website and the date if you scroll down uh, you see this is the header that I was talking about the default one with the kind of particle effect but the overview backups analytics uh, you can see how many backups were created, uh, but it was backing up in this moment, so it's not included here. Um, yeah, but the backup size, you can see the WordPress version, the theme, the active plugins. You can also check your analytics, how much people have been on your website, how many people have visited it. And normally you can also see uh, how many plugins have been updated, um, how, uh, how your website is performing based on speed and also if there were any security vulnerabilities and how they have been picked up, which happens automatically as well. So that's it for the report. Right now it's just a four pager and it's really slow, uh, really slow, really, uh, how do you say it, really short because there's not too much for me in here. But if you send this every month, let's say in the first day of the month to your clients, it's going to really improve your, uh, you know, your, overall your business and how people look on to your business. So yeah, that was uh, Manage WP in a nutshell. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I really hope it helps you out. Uh, I know it helped me out a long, long, long bit. <laughs> Oh, you should you call it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's been helping me out. Uh, it takes off some ease of my work, which is really amazing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. So have a nice day and I'll see you later.